Welcome to News Today with WW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for October 25th, 2019. According to signage on all fuel rod kiosks at Walt Disney World, fuel rod swaps will cost $3 starting on November 1st, 2019. Meanwhile, the portable phone charging systems kiosks page on the Disneyland Resort website has also been updated to reflect the upcoming upcharge. Since their arrival at the Disney Parks, park guests have turned uh, to countless trusted fuel rod kiosks for their first $30 fuel rod starter kit and enjoyed years now of unlimited free swapping once the battery was dead. Many airports and other tourist destinations, including nearby theme parks like Universal, charge a nominal fee to swap your fuel rod, which is in fact at $3. However, uh, this change in policy for free swaps at Disney parks is sure to be a major adjustment for the guests who uh, were planning on using them at the Disney resorts. I know personally, uh, been a big proponent of fuel rod since it came on board. I thought, you know, with free swaps, it's a one-time $30 thing. It's a great deal. Needless to say, I I will not be paying $3 for a swap at any point. It makes no sense. I think uh, it's probably the end of fuel rod, the beginning of the end of fuel rod at this point. The Tomorrowland Speedway driver's license photo pass boots have returned to the Magic Kingdom. The popular Tomorrowland Speedway driver's license photo boots have been gone since the start of the attraction's refurbishment earlier this year. These boots were initially introduced back in 2017 and then became popular souvenirs. For $5, you can print a hard plastic driver's license and also receive a uh, digital certificate that shows up with all of your PhotoPass photos on the My Disney Experience app. The new arrival experience security screening and tram loop drop-off has opened at Epcot on October 24th. Guests who park still have the option to walk up along the new walkway or they can take the tram all the way up to the new drop-off area. From there, guests can walk directly over to the new security screening area underneath the monorail station. Um, note that this new security screening will be used by guests arriving from the parking lot or via buses. Guests arriving via monorail will not have to go through a second security screening anymore. Security screening now takes place again under that monorail platform as opposed to the temporary tents uh, that were set up before. Uh, walking over from the bus loop, stay to your left uh, and it'll lead you right up to the new expanded security screening and bag check area. Still curious as to how the whole arrival experience and security screening process works? Not sure where to go? Well, you can check out our full video right here on YouTube, which will walk you through the arrival process via bus, parking lot, and monorail. That's right here on our channel. The Fountain of Nations is nearly fully demolished ahead of the creation of the new World Celebration Area at Epcot. Weeks ago, construction walls went up around the former Fountain of Nations, enveloping uh, that entire area of Future World. The fountain has been stripped of its side pedestals where water would cascade down, leaving just the top layer of exposed, calcified, and rusting piping. Uh, even then, most metal valves have already been removed, leaving just rubble of pipes and metal parts at the very top. An entire chunk of the remaining fountain border has also since been removed. Demolition seems to be contained for now within the fenced and walled off areas, with uh, only minor demolition going on beyond the fountain. Moving forward, even more sections of fountain will be removed with the goal to ultimately level out the area for future use as part of World Celebration, including that brand new Festival Pavilion building. The Caramel Shop in Epcot's Germany Pavilion has a new boozy caramel flight. That's, that's a real thing. You receive four individual caramels on a small golden tray for $6.49. There are four different uh, flavors of alcohol and each caramel is easily identifiable. The chocolate covered caramel is amaretto. The one with the white spot is Irish cream. The plain one, bourbon, excited about that. And the one with the fruit topping is pear brandy. You can read our full review on this new item at WDWNT.com. Announced during a performance of the Mariachi Cobra this week, the fan favorite Story of Coco show will be returning for a special three-day run in celebration of Dia de los Muertos, or the traditional Day of the Dead celebration at the Mexico Pavilion. The Mexico Pavilion will honor its traditions by bringing back the beloved puppet show featuring Miguel from Pixar's Coco, dancing along with the traditional Mexican folk dancers. Mariachi Cobre presents the story of Coco will run October 31st through November 2nd for Dia de los Muertos. Again, uh, it will go away again. Uh, after that, it was part of the entertainment cuts made a couple weeks ago. This is only a temporary seasonal edition. A new Pin Thursday weekly pin trading event is coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom. As many Disney pin trading aficionados know, pin releases take place every Thursday of the month throughout Walt Disney World and at Disneyland for that matter. So part of the event will also be exploring all the latest releases to hit shelves that day. 
Every Thursday, limited edition or limited release pins will be available at select merchandise locations at Animal Kingdom, the Discovery Trading Company, and the Africa Hub Cart specifically. Cast members will also be outfitted with exclusive new pins to trade with guests to be refreshed park-wide each week. We don't know what those are, but uh, it certainly sounds interesting, and we'll uh, keep you posted when that actually begins. Today marks the debut of a, the newest bus to hit Disney property, the Toy Story bus. It's the latest character wrap. The bus features Buzz, Slinky Dog, Bullseye, Woody, and Jesse against the backdrop of those fluffy white clouds from Andy's room. Similar to the buses featuring the Sensational Six, these buses have those new blue seats and laminate floors throughout. And some of the buses also have USB charging ports conveniently located between the seats so you can recharge your devices and not miss the moment of capturing the Disney fun. According to permits filed earlier this month, the last remaining McDonald's location at Walt Disney World property is set to undergo a vast refurbishment beginning on October 30th. The permits detailed architectural work, new roofing, and building improvements coming to the McDonald's, which is located at, at 1596 West Buena Vista Drive, right at the entrance gates to Disney's All-Star Resorts. The restaurant is set to close again on October 30th and reopen sometime in 2020. It seems like they remodeled not that long ago. I feel like it was like the late... Late 2000s, maybe 2009, that's what I remember. It, 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 it's probably been about 10 years since they remodeled, but it, it's interesting they're doing it again so quickly. Event and booking dates have been announced for the 2020 Disney Vacation Club Moonlight Magic events. Moonlight Magic is an exclusive after-hours event for Disney Vacation Club members, of course. Members can bring up to three guests to Moonlight Magic or uh, their entire party of staying at a DVC resort. Animal Kingdom will host events on January 1st, February 11th, and February 25th. Epcot will have one on May 4th and June 29th. Hollywood Studios, meanwhile, September 15th, September 22nd, and October 6th. At the Magic Kingdom, the events are March 3rd, April 21st, and April 28th. And then Typhoon Lagoon will host two as well on July 27th and August 10th. The November pin releases for Walt Disney World and Disneyland feature the first ever commemorative Christmas parade taping pins. The, also, there's tiny stocking stuffers mystery pins, a Frozen 2 Bruni pin, and a holiday gifting, uh, series of holiday gifting box sets. You can see the full list of November pin releases at WDWNT.com. Until recently, the Tokyo Disney Resort Reservations website only offered English as an option for reserving hotel stays and buying tickets. Very recently, however, the Oriental Land Company has quietly added support in English for dining and dinner shows. The, uh, to access shows and dining reservations, visit the Tokyo Disney Resort Reservations website in English and click Other. You can also select Restaurant or Show Restaurant from above, and you can search by date, mealtime, and even which park or hotel. This is a really big deal if you're going to Tokyo. It's been a giant challenge if you don't speak Japanese to accomplish uh, reservations, so this is... Uh, if you're going, this is this is big, big news. Some WDWNT news to cover. Uh, this coming Tuesday, you can trick or treat with us at Halloween Laugh In at the Laugh Floor at the Magic Kingdom on October 29th. If you can't make it to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, but you're going to be at the Magic Kingdom that night, you can stop by Town Square uh, just behind the railroad station to get a special treat from myself and Cameron from 5.45 to 6 p.m. Meanwhile, from 7 to midnight, myself and Cameron will host a non-stop live stream from the Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor on Twitter and Instagram. If you're going to be at the party, you can stop by in person for a treat from us and uh, you stay to watch the fun with us as long as you like. So again, uh, Tuesday, October 29th, you can join us uh, on Twitter or, or uh, Instagram for the live stream from 7 to midnight. If not, if you're going to be in the park not for the party, you can join us 5.45 to 6. Stop by behind the train station for a special little treat. If not, stop by between 7 and midnight in the Laugh Floor if you're coming to the party to get a treat from us there. Uh, on another Halloween note for us, uh, WW News Tonight next week will be airing a special episode on Halloween night, October 31st. It's WWNT's Fairly Scary Halloween Party. In the studio here on iDrive in Orlando, we will have a treat trail and a costume contest for 100 core bucks. That's our uh, prize system that people use to uh, claim prizes from our online store. You can expect a visit as well from Kornak the Magnificent as well as a ghostly seance. Uh, we're even holding a spooky short story contest, which you can learn more about. Uh, how you could submit and be a part of that at WDWNT.com right now. The show airs Thursday at 9 p.m. on our YouTube channel, and tickets for the live studio audience can be found at WDWNewsTonight.com.
For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WDWNT.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks News, this is Tom Coros saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Thank you.